Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another studio vlog. Happy Monday, happy new year. Um, we are actually at the end of January, but this is the first video that's going up on my channel. Yeah, I haven't filmed for a while because I've been kind of like stressed with all the moving stuff. Um, as you can probably tell, I we haven't moved yet. Um, our moving date got pushed back a month. So yeah, we were meant to be moving <laughs> very soon, uh, but now, yeah, we've got another month to go and fingers crossed everything's gonna go okay and the move's still gonna go ahead, but kind of until you exchange, you just kind of don't know, uh, well, until you exchange and complete, you don't know what's gonna happen. Anyway, this video is gonna be art related. So um, on the subject of like new year and goals, one of my goals this year is to get into art licensing um, and so if, I'm just going to lean on this <laughs> shelf, um, so yeah if you don't know art licensing, I'm going to try and quickly explain it, um, basically art licensing you create artwork and then you pitch that to companies and if they like it, they can then put your artwork onto different kinds of like home decor stuff or stationery. There's lots of like different kind of categories with art licensing. It's different than running your own shop and it's different to wholesaling because you are not in charge of like the manufacturing parts. Um, you don't have to like work with manufacturers. You get paid like up Either you get paid up front for the artwork um, or they can give you like royalties or sometimes it's like a combination of both. I worked with a sticker company before. They used my cat, I'll, I'll pop it on the screen. So they used this cat artwork, created some stickers and then they paid me up front and I got royalties for that. So yeah, I want to do more of that this year. Yeah, so my plan um, of action <laughs> is to create a load of different collections and then like pitch them out to companies. I've been watching loads of Skillshare actually at the moment and there was a Skillshare class that I took uh, which was by Stacey Bloomfield and that's all to do with like art licensing so yeah would you recommend that and she was talking about going through your portfolio seeing kind of what work you have already so you're not necessarily starting from scratch go yeah go through your whole portfolio and kind of categorize things into themes so going through my portfolio i've realized i've got lots of cats related things which i also think is you know quite commercial i think it would be quite a good thing for me to pitch to companies because people love cats i love cats <laughs> Also woodland animals and I think this would be a great one to do kind of like a Christmas slash holiday themed because apparently holiday themed stuff is always very popular for art licensing. And then the last collection I'm going to do is kind of like the whimsical tea party stuff. So yeah I like tea and um, I draw lots of kind of tea related things. <laughs> but yeah so this week I'm going to be working on some things to put towards those collections. Yeah, so something that I've started working on already. Oh, my neighbour is in the garden. I hope they can't see me talking <laughs> on my camera. Maybe they'll just think I'm talking to somebody on the phone or something. Anyway, um, <laughs> I could hide around the corner. Um, there's a couple of things that I want to learn. So one of the things I want to learn is hand lettering. Yeah, I think that would be very useful to learn. And hand lettering, that could be something that I could put on greeting cards and then sort of pitch my ideas to companies like that. Um, and also I think hand lettering 
also is good for like home decor stuff as well. And then the other thing I want to get better at is patterns as well. So yeah, I've been taking loads of Skillshare classes and yeah, I'll show you what I'm working on at the moment. Try and hide from my neighbor. <laughs> okay. So you will probably recognize this, but like I said, um, I've been going through my portfolio, finding things I already have, and then seeing what I can kind of make out of them. So this is my sneaky teapot, which is an enamel pin that I have. And I've just kind of redrawn it with these pencil brushes on the iPad, just to give it a bit more kind of texture and make it more of like an illustration. And I'm gonna turn this into a pattern. And um, da -la 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 -la. Some, one of the classes I was taking on Skillshare was about how to do a kind of repeat diamond pattern. So I've created this shape and I thought it might actually look really cool if I have this repeating, but then have like the teapots inside it. So this is how it works repeated. So it's the same shape that repeats again and again, which looks really kind of cool. And then I'm thinking have the teapots in the middle and then this pattern is gonna be made up of flowers. But yeah, I haven't put it all together yet. I love drawing on Procreate, but I kind of run out of layers <laughs> because I usually draw things um, at quite a large size. My plan is now to move over to Photoshop. I do have a really old version of Photoshop as well, but yeah, I'm gonna try and piece this all together and then yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so we have a slight problem where the flowers kind of, I don't know, it doesn't quite look right here. And, oh, that's the same bit that's repeated. And then here they kind of overlap as well. I'm gonna go back, draw it again, and then hopefully it will work. But this is why we kind of test things out. And this is, yeah, part of the learning process. Okay, we were having problems with the flowers, getting everything to kind of line up and everything, but I think doing dots might actually look better and just work better as well. So gonna try this. So I've kind of done these sort of like gold dots and that will go also with like the gold of the teapot as well. So let's try this out. Yes, yeah, so this is what it's looking like so far. I just now need to repeat this and then I'm going to so I've got these teapots with the lid closed and then this teapot with the lid open and these little eyes. So that one I'm gonna kind of dot around in various places. I'm just having a snack, got a cup of tea. Got him. <laughs> I, uh, I saw my parents and my sister yesterday. My mom made these little vegan cakes it's just like dark chocolate but she got vegan smarties as well <laughs> so yeah just having one of those and a cup of tea and an apple so this is the pattern it looks pretty good until i zoom in let me zoom in all the way also this is coming up gray but this is actually like a sage green color can you see here oh wow i've zoomed it way <laughs> no stop <laughs> okay wait a minute wow I zoomed in 600%, excuse me, hang on a minute. I went a bit too clicky happy. I've made a slight mistake here. This is the thing I find so hard with patterns, just getting everything to like line up perfectly. But other than that, it looks great. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna have to, um, just redo that little bit again. I don't know how to get it like really precise. Okay, we're trying again. I'm gonna try and drag these rulers out and I've got snapping on, so that should hopefully work. Okay, I think I've done it. I've literally been zooming in so far just to double check. I don't have any like weird gaps where I had to like duplicate 
the edges um, and I've zoomed in and I think it's good I think it's like actually a seamless pattern I've done a sage green version a navy work oh, navy background and a blue background as well but yeah this literally took me like all morning good morning everyone <laughs> uh, it is Tuesday now I've pretty much just woken up I'm feeling very tired um Tom got up ages before me for work uh today he had to get up at half four in the morning I went back to bed um and didn't get up till 10 <laughs> and yeah I'm still feeling tired so I think I'm gonna, probably gonna wear this dressing gown for most of the day um and I'm just gonna get on with drawing so let me show you what I'm working on so this one's finished. This one I did a few days ago. And basically my idea was to draw a whole load of scenes with my cat sitting on things stickers. So I don't know if you can tell, but this is the same cat that's on those stickers. Cause I'm again, I'm trying to use what I've got, but obviously I've drawn a lot more like in the background, but I'm doing the same. I'm doing the same with the cat on the piano, I'm redrawing all the cats just to give them some more detail um, because before I just drew them for stickers but for this I wanted to do a bit more detail, get some nice kind of like pencil textures in there and then my plan is that I can then use those maybe to do like a pattern of a few of the cats together and then do like a standalone illustration and I've done so many different color variations but I think this is the one that we're going with so I need to finish that off I need to pop the cat in here uh, but yeah that's this is what this is looking like so yeah I'm just kind of doing like a scene and I think I'll maybe do like five in this series um, but again I'm just trying to kind of reuse bits where I can and just then make it into a collection. It just means that I can have like a pattern and then the single illustrations and it will all kind of match together and maybe it will make it kind of more attractive for a company to get both of them. I don't know but it's just quite fun coming up with these little scenes so I'm just going to work on that today. The other thing <laughs> <laughs> this parcel arrived and on the address the return address it said from an independent artist and I was like oh has somebody sent me something I was like I can't remember ordering anything and then I remembered that I did actually order some tote bags so these are tote bags that I designed and I put them on my red bubble shop I think they've come out really cute so again these if I don't know if you can tell, but it's the same design from the cat sitting on things stickers, but then I've changed it. Um, I've like redrawn the cat and then I've done these like tulips around the edge and added some like stars and stuff. But yeah, I think these would look really cute on different like home decor things. Yeah, I just thought I'd pop them on my red bubble shop and I need, I really wanted a new tote bag actually. So really happy with those. The only thing is when you order on Redbubble, you don't get anything to say who the artist is. All you get is this thing that on the return address it says from an independent artist. You don't get any like packing slip or anything to say who the artist is. So you might completely just forget and then you just get this like red bubble sticker. So basically they just want you to remember that you got it from red bubble but not actually remember the artist that you got it from. Other than that, happy with the tote bags. But yeah, something that I could do is start adding my name to stuff on red bubble. Yeah, I started adding my name to things on Instagram. Um the only thing is I feel like I don't have a good signature <laughs> does anybody else feel like that so I kind of want it to like look pretty but yeah there's an artist um called Kat I, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce her surname I think it's is it Kat Colette but yeah she does like loads of print on demand stuff and I think she also licenses 
yeah she also licenses her work with companies as well usually licensing things they're non-exclusive so she can have the same artwork like on society six or Redbubble, and also have them like with companies as well so long as it's like a non-exclusive license um but something that she does is she she always like hides her signature somewhere and then i suppose that would be good if you order something from a print on demand website that doesn't actually say who the artist is at least if you have your signature on the product then the person can remember who you are also the other thing is today would actually be our moving date um so <laughs> that feels really strange i think we're actually just waiting for two things now at the moment there's just been like a big old list of things that we've kind of um our solicitors had to like go through and we've been like chasing them up every so often as well but hopefully we'll be moving in a month um but yeah it feels kind of strange that this would be our moving day so it is still tuesday it is now like nearly one o'clock um i have not got very far with my drawing i ended up checking my emails instead and i had a few emails from like solicitors and things so then did some emails back did some phoning and now i'm actually planning on going to the gym in a minute um but i have got a couple of orders that i'm gonna try and get packed and then i can post them on the way to the gym i've still got some international orders on hold because of the whole royal mail uh cyber attack incident last time i checked i need to double check but the last time i checked tracked international orders were back up and running um but like the standard ones weren't and if somebody's just ordered like a pin or a sticker sheet they probably don't want to pay for um tracked shipping so i've still got some orders on hold for that but yeah i'm gonna pack some orders go to the gym listen to some tunes and yeah i just i really like exercise for kind of um like de-stressing <laughs> and it's good to just like put on some music and yeah so i'm gonna do that and then hopefully when I come back I can make a bit of progress to that drawing and I'll show you where I go up to with that. <laughs> gym get some endorphins going and I will check back in with you when I'm nice and sweaty. Tom has been shopping and I love January because look you get nice vegan stuff and Tom is wrestling in the back. <laughs> it's Tom! Then today was meant to be our moving day. Yeah we didn't move. We haven't today. moved today. We have not moved today. Um you might be able to tell I have been for a run. I am nice and and sweaty and red and I've just stuck this jumper back on. Tom, I haven't done my Duolingo today. You neither. You neither. We are learning Welsh. I think yeah. I'm up to, what did you say? What do you think? I, I think the more we learn, mm -hmm. the less good we are at pronunciation. <laughs> There's two more words. Because we're just like, two, yeah, yeah, learning the words, what the words are. I can't even speak English. I just said two more words. Too many words. Because yeah. <laughs> most of the new words that I'm, I'm saying I'm learning, I don't have a clue how you're actually saying them. I just showed all the 
mess in the kitchen. Oh, to be fair, most of that is food to put away. Tweet them in Kavi Kelly. Tweet them. Tweet them in in carry. Is I do not carry. What's carry? No carry. Carry love. I do not love. I do not love what? What was the last bit? Hey. Huh? Kellen. Poor Kellen. <laughs> Tweet them in Huffy Skippy or a gobble. I do not like skipping at all. Tweet a Avil. I want an apple. Hi everyone, it is now Wednesday. Um, I've just been taking some new profile pictures because it's been a really, really long time since I updated my profile picture and I thought I might actually draw some like nice little kind of doodle things, maybe draw some tulips on. I thought that might be cool. Anyway, this is the photo. I've taken that one. That's coming out really washed out. It's not quite that washed out. That one, there's another one that looks exactly the same. <laughs> anyway, I was wearing a dress as well, um, but then it got kind of cold because um, the heating went off, the, um, the pressure in our boiler went really low. And then I was like, I know how to fix this. And I was all pleased with myself. I thought I fixed, I did fix it, but then the pressure went too high and then I was panicking. So then I rang my dad, I was like, what do I do? And then he just suggested turning the heating off again. So we've done that. The pressure's dropped down again. We've turned the heating back on. I think everything is fine. Uh, Tom should be home soon so he can have a look at it as well. I don't know if we're gonna need to like bleed a radiator now or bleed some pipes or something um but i didn't want to flood the house <laughs> while tom was out i'm gonna sort out do my new profile thingy and then hopefully we'll actually also get back to that cat illustration that i was working on as well also i've done my duolingo for today i am up to day 47 whoop whoop It is Friday now so I think I filmed a little clip on Wednesday and then I didn't film anything yesterday but I've just been working away and I have finished the cat's piano illustration <laughs> I don't know what else to call it so let me show you that I think I will have put a time lapse of that up of like the sort of procreate drawing here it is I'm so so proud of it and it's so fun to actually take something like the cats sitting on thing stickers and kind of like expand them and turn them into different things. So I've been turning some of them into like home decor designs and then turning some others into like sort of full illustrations. My plan with the full illustrations is either they could be art prints 
or they could be greeting cards or maybe they could be puzzles and so this is something either that I could produce myself or something I could pitch to companies to art license so yeah I hope that also gives you some ideas of how you could take some of your work and kind of add to it and like reinvent it and different things that you can do with that. I've been listening to so much um, of like Stacey Bloomfield because I really enjoyed her Skillshare, <laughs> Skillshare class. <laughs> I really enjoyed her Skillshare class. I just found loads of podcasts and like YouTube videos that she was on. So I've been listening to a bunch of her. What else? I have not done much lettering hand lettering i know that was something i think i mentioned at the beginning yeah i've taken one hand lettering class by i think you say her name gia graham and i haven't actually even finished the class yet so <laughs> this is <laughs> pretty much all i've got housewise we should still be moving in a month but again until we move <laughs> everything kind of feels a bit up in the air which i'm sure it's like that for most people when they're moving so I don't know when my next video will, will be up but I kind of just wanted to make a video um, just to be like I'm still alive <laughs> and uh, yeah and just because I'd missed making videos. Um, I would also really like to make some more sort of like just chatty videos like about a subject or maybe like tutorials and sort of art advice so if there's anything in particular you would like me to chat about or anything that you want to learn then um, let leave me a comment if you're completely new subscribe if you want to see my journey um, hopefully in the future I'll be able to share if I've managed to get any kind of like art licensing deals but it might take me a while but I kind of like to document my journey on this channel so I've documented my Etsy journey and I've documented my journey of illustrating my first picture book which I self-published so yeah I kind of like bringing you along for the ride oh my shop is still open for the time being but I will be closing it for when we move um currently as well I'm just doing UK orders Hopefully international orders will come back properly soon. I think my shop is going to be open for another couple of weeks and then I will close it for when we move. If we move, hopefully. <laughs> and yeah, I think that's going to be the end of this video. I'm sending you lots of love. I hope you've had a wonderful day, a wonderful week and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye. Um, so, oh my goodness. I always say this, but my arm. <laughs> All right, let's swap hands. Um, I've started a um, a stopwatch because <laughs> it's it's been a little while since I have filmed a YouTube video, and I was like, let's just let's try and be concise <laughs> in the intro. I've been talking for five minutes already. Also, that intro was nine minutes long. <laughs> Very concise. Oh, bit wonky, as per usual. Thank you for coming. I know that you're trying to do anything to make me smile. I'll have a cup of tea while you have a latte for both you and me. The caffeine will make sure that you don't fall asleep. Cause darling, you're sleepy, eyes are closing.